what would drive a mother to deprive a growing child of nutrition? Nutrition that can only be obtained from animal foods. Vitamin B12, omega fatty acids, vitamin K2, vitamin D3 are all incredibly important for the development of every single tissue in the body, including the brain, skeletal system, organs. But why would someone do such a thing? Because a mother thinks a pig is cute? The only explanation here is the incredible lack of understanding of nutrients or someone that is too indoctrinated into a cult-like movement for the animals that disregards human life. Let's see what this vegan toddler eats in one day. Bro, what's up? Oh, you've got the raspberries. Before you eat half a packet of raspberries. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you what everything that my 18 month old eats today. Um, he's plant-based, vegan, has been ever since, I don't know. He's never had animal products or anything. Um, and he's super healthy and thriving. Um, so I thought I'd give you some ideas on what he eats today. He had breast milk in bed this morning. Um, just a little bit of breast milk. And now he's demolished a quarter of a packet of frozen raspberries while I was just getting my um, smoothie set up. So yeah, let's make a smoothie. I am going to share the smoothie with Aubrey and probably the kids. So he's, I have exact quantities, I'm not quite sure, but he's still eating all this. So yeah, let's make it. On today. No spoon, there should be one in the on the bench, honey. I've got two kids with me, so bear with me. Um, Alright, so first, um, greens. I've got 200 grams of greens. That's a lot. Greens are really good for um, iron and minerals, aren't they, Betty? Yeah. And it's good to eat greens every day. And this, yeah. is, a, this is basically how a lot of oh. my kids eat greens. They do eat a little bit of like spinach and kale and everything. Um, and sometimes lettuce cups, but this is the majority of how they eat a lot of their greens. So we've got four bananas to sweeten the, the spinach. We don't just want to eat spinach, do we, Bear? No. no. That is so and disgusting. Then we've got about a half a cup of bananas and spinach. Oh my god. And some frozen pineapple. What makes these smoothies really special um, is how much cheese seeds I put in. I put a lot of cheese seeds because they're really anti-inflammatory. Um, they're full of minerals and vitamins and good protein and fats, omega fats. Um, so we're just, I've got about a quarter of a cup soaked, which ends up being a lot of chia. Actually, I think this is more than a quarter of a cup. I might just put a, I'm not going to put all of them, actually. That's a bit much today. And then we've got some spirulina. Yes, can I put in? Give it to me. Probably about that much which is probably about a teaspoon or so, two there's only, teaspoons. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, good cunning. Should, should put, put it in? in? Yep. And then I'm going to do a mix of some fortified milk. soy milk, um, which has just got algae, calcium in it, and um, some water. So a bit of a mix. Ow. Let the water go through. Pass all these chia seeds. <laughs> Always like hanging out. Oh, cheese seeds on my top. Oh dear. <laughs> How much smoothie would you like today? Um, I'm not yeah, she looks good. I'm gonna give Aubrey about a cup and he'll tell me how hungry he is. If he wants more, then he can come back for more. He loves his smoothie. Here you go, Bubba. How do you say to Daddy? Is it yummy? That poor child must be starving. As with every single vegan video we see, they try to create this aura of happiness, of illusion, with music being in nature. Yet, if you look at what they're doing with any understanding of vitamins and minerals and plant versus animal foods, it's painfully obvious how little these people know. There are no nutrients in frozen raspberries. It's very clear uh, from what she's feeding her children and what she's saying that her breast milk is not adequate in nutrients because of the food she's eating in her diet. Whatever the mother eats, the nutrients in those foods will correlate to the breast milk. You can test breast milk for nutrients. And when the breast milk of vegans is tested, the amount of things like DHA, B vitamins are a fraction. And we're talking 
between 5 and 10% of what they should be in an omnivorous mother. You know, she said that the greens she was putting in her smoothie were great for iron and minerals. The iron in spinach, we know, is bound to things like oxalates, inhibited by phytic acid as well. These are called anti-nutrients. They inhibit the absorption of minerals in the body in particular in this case, but there are other anti-nutrients that can inhibit the absorption of vitamins as well. So when you're consuming greens or most vegetables, especially in the cruciferous family, you're not actually getting any vitamins or minerals in your diet because of the inhibition of the absorption of minerals. If greens were so high in iron, why is just about every vegan out there anemic? Uh, the chia seeds, same thing, very high in these anti-nutrients, phytic acid, phytates, and oxalates, oxalic acid. You know, she said that chia seeds have vitamins, minerals, protein, and omegas. Nothing that gets absorbed in your body. To absorb the omega fatty acids from plant foods, you need to have ample amounts of an enzyme known as the 6 desaturase enzyme. The problem is the body isn't really efficient at converting the plant form of omegas into the animal form, and there has never actually been a study that shows plant form omega-3 can convert into DHA. Uh, spirulina is a blue-green algae supplement. Uh, the issues with this are toxins from pollution, and I've been reading some articles recently that show that this type of supplement can cause dysbiosis and algae to actually grow in your gut, so it's definitely not something that I would be consuming on a daily basis. Uh, dysbiosis is an imbalance of gut bacteria, uh, so you could literally have what seems to be an algae infection, you know, like we see candida, like we see SIBO, this might be a possibility. And to top it off, she puts some fortified soy milk in there, some laboratory crap, literally one of the most poisonous things you can put in your body uh, from the processing of the soy, the oxidized and rancid high omega-6 fats in that soy milk. There's probably two dozen other ingredients in that soy milk uh, just to make it not taste rancid and to add powders and minerals so it actually has a vitamin content. It's worth mentioning that in indigenous groups, they used to breastfeed their children for you know a minimum of two years, up to four to five years. And we see vegans incapable of breastfeeding their children even for a period of a few months. It's an indicator that we are out of touch with nature and would not be able to survive in nature on this diet. So I'm really excited to announce something that I've been working on for a really long time. The majority of last year, like hundreds and hundreds of hours, I actually spent writing a book um, which is basically a book in detail about how to raise um, a plant-based baby from... Jesus yeah, Christ, how to, how to brainwash to people and your kids kind of and misguide sort of them. Where they can eat really independently. And I wrote this book because I'm really passionate. First of all, I'm really passionate about raising um, babies and children. Really? Um, You're passionate about starving diet. children? And also, secondly, it's because... Um, That's why you disabled the comments on this video? You really need to like know the ins and outs of a plant-based diet. Um, otherwise, you, you, there's a lot of opportunities. You don't know the ins and outs of anything. And as a result, your child cannot be um, properly nourished. So. I am working with a nutritionist to write this book. Um, actually, I've written the whole book. I thought you knew so much. Why are you working with someone? And certifying it and making sure it's something that she would recommend to any child or any um, parent who is wanting to raise, raise their kids plant-based. Um, and so, yeah, I am almost finished writing this book. Um, I'm just basically going through and just double-checking everything at the stage. But I'm hoping to release it on my website in the next couple of months so if this is something that you are interested in purchasing or a friend needs some information about how to basically start their baby on on solids on a plant-based diet that's the majority of what it is and I cover um, yeah nutrition supplements um, when's the right age to introduce things like grains and peanuts and all that kind of stuff um, and so yeah it's really in depth I go into a lot of detail um, and I've, I've, I've had a lot of fun researching and just jotting down what my experience was like raising plant-based babies and yeah and so I thought I'd sit down and quickly share with you um, yeah my exciting news I'm really excited to get this book out there so it can help and inspire other parents to completely raise delusional completely my delusional two kids now are just passing the baby well Aubrey's just passing the baby stage 
where he's eating so good and um, yeah, he's very independent with his food now. So what I'd just say, in this guide, it's exactly how I fed my children. Um, so it's my personal experience, but also uh, through research and what something a nutritionist would recommend. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to announce that. Beth is sitting here and she's ready to go. We're going to go off for a bike ride now. And I've packed a bit of a lunchbox for some snacks. So yeah, let's go. You ready, Dan? Yeah. Let's do it. This young mother is obviously very beautiful. And the reason her face is developed properly, you know, she has a fairly wide face, you know, symmetrical eyes, symmetrical everything. Her teeth are perfect. This was because of the presence of animal foods in her diet. We will not see the same for her children. She has the illusion about her, the beauty, the nature, the glamour of a plant-based diet. She's using this to mislead hundreds of thousands of people Nutritionists and dietetic organizations are bought and paid for. Using the appeal to authority of a nutritionist or a dietitian shows how little you know. Just give it time. See how these children turn out in a couple years. Vegans will be marked down in history as literally depriving children of nutrition. You know, going back to that shake earlier. If kids are sucking down a green smoothie like that full of sugar that has no nutrients and they're craving it, there's obviously a lack of fat and protein in their diet. Well, we just had a little sleep, didn't you, buddy? We had a little bit of milk. And now we're at the lake. We just packed before we left a real quick snack box. We, I was going to bring like tofu and She stuff, looks much older. Too warm. Skin doesn't look like, good. Wear out. I'm always like hesitant to like pack it and then like have warm tofu and ugh. Anyway, so we've just got some olives, some peanut butter crackers, some Brazil nuts and some fruit and some water. So hopefully this will get the kids through until we get home. Or home. Home means ban. <laughs> and Aubrey loves his olives. Don't you, buddy? Um, I might have a peanut butter cracker. The way I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna have a peanut butter cracker. Alright, finished up swimming and Dan just had a big rock climb of the wall. Um, but I thought I'd quickly tell you what Aubrey had. So he's just finished having a pear, but he had two handfuls of My olives, cracker cracker with peanut butter, uh, two Brazil nuts, which I don't think he quite finished because he he kind of dropped the ends of them, like he was holding them with two hands and then like gnawing on them like a little rat. Um, and I think that's all he had. And a couple bites of peaches. So he had Quite a lot of food. I'm starving myself, so I think we might go into town and see if there's any food here. Aubrey's, you can see him over there with the goats. It's so cute. Cute, cuddly animal lovers. That's it. That's what they are. These people should have been born as animals because they clearly have no regard for the human race. So we didn't quite, it's like a 5k bike ride back to our campsite and well we're so hungry so we ended up just getting some lunch from the local supermarket you're so hungry you ate three times already some sandwiches so yeah let me show you what we got so they actually had quite a good selection of um some vegan and organic stuff which was amazing because we're like in the middle of nowhere in Slovenia it's vegan and what organic and it's so good for you I'm going to make um some sandwiches so I got some I got some whole grain sourdough here. Oh, that looks quite funky actually. And then I found some hummus, so I'm gonna make Aubrey a little bit of a hummus sandwich. Wow, that's so good. It's like butternut. And oh the ingredients God. are really good as well. Made with olive oil. Oh, these kids are so hungry. And I even found some. This um, is sad. Tofu. This is sad. So this will be really interesting. Probably need a swing back. Aubrey's eating. Some toast with some hummus. This is this is disgusting. This is this is unacceptable. Oh. How's that tofu, Aubrey? Do you like it? This is this I, I really This is good, look at this. Bad, it's absolutely right? insane that someone can do this to, to their children. And for a little after lunch snack, I found a, a vegan cookie, which the kids are gonna share. Ingredients are real good. Real good. What do you mean real good? You mean free of animal some, products? Some nuts. So yeah. Because you want to hurt cookie? your children instead of animals? Oh wow, well, there's only one cookie. It's a chocolate cookie. You break it in half. You give some to Aubrey. Oh, he gets the smaller half? Uh -huh. Oh, cookie. <laughs> Yum. They should not be eating this much food. Dan this is went ridiculous. Back to the supermarket because he's still hungry. So he's going to have um, cherries and peanut butter. 
Oh, we want to come have some cheese, cherries, oh, and peanuts. Oh. Is he gonna eat it? I don't yeah, think he will. He will. Oh, he, he likes peanut butter like you. Does he like? What it? do you think? Nom noms. Eat the cherry. Eat the cherry as well. Cherry with peanut butter on it. Come on. <laughs> no. Peanut butter on him. We must be hot in his rash shirt. Poor kid is still eating. What are you gonna do with that? His body is starving oh, for nutrients and the food is not giving them to him. He's just eating calories and energy. No vitamins or minerals. Yummy. You might just rip it up and throw it, but we'll see how we go. Eat it, Daddy. Yeah, natural instinct. I think these children and these people have already had like four or five meals and it's only halfway through the day. As I just said, they are giving their body caloric nutrition without the vitamins, minerals, fatty acids their bodies need. That's why they're craving so much food and they're constantly hungry. They had some olives, peanut butter, crackers with nuts and fruit. Again, no semblance of vitamins, minerals, elements, or fatty acids. Nothing good in there. Uh, they are really just animal lovers. You know, they're with, playing with goats. She's, it's so ironic. She's playing with goats. They care more about the goats than they care about the kids. They're more excited about the animals than their children. Uh, then they went to a supermarket to make sandwiches. The kid was snacking on blueberries. I don't think he has stopped eating yet in this video. But a hummus sandwich? You have oxidized omega-6 fats from the hummus, whatever vegetable oils they used, and she put them on sourdough bread, which is just energy. What you, people have to understand is that plant foods throughout human history were used for energy in substitute of animal fat when it was not available for energy. We've always eaten plant foods out of necessity, not for nutrition. And then she gives the kids a cookie. These kids have just been eating and eating and eating and eating, and they're always hungry. They're just being deprived. Okay, sorry, I look like a, <laughs> I look like a hot mess because we've been biking and I'm so sweaty and cooking. Okay, so focus on the food, not me. Dan, food, not me. <laughs> okay, so um, I've just served up Aubrey's dinner. I'm giving him three baked baby potatoes. I made a super easy... Some slop um, and carbohydrates. Lentil curry. Basically just onion, garlic, lentils and curry powder and salt and pepper. And that's really it. And then I've got some um, quinoa. I made this the other night. Um, it's cashew sour cream with some sunflower seeds in it. So to add a bit more fats, I'm just going to basically just add a teaspoon and stir it in and it will make it really creamy. I don't have any coconut cream, so this is kind of like a really good substitute for that. And then I also made a really big yummy salad, which we obviously won't eat salad, but he does, he's obsessed with capsicum. Yeah, he won't so eat I'm salad because and there's no nutrients in it. And he knows that, like as his natural human instincts are still intact. I did eat a couple of um, more raspberries, frozen raspberries, while I was eating. He ate them at my feet. The lady he met before gave him a half a peach. A peach? Yeah. Oh, so he's had a peach as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then some other lady this morning gave him a pretzel. So. What's with people feeding your kids? <laughs> and almost forgot, I'm going to put some, oops, I think that's got some seeds in it, but I'm going to put a bit of lemon on top. They're feeding your kids because they can see you're starving them and they're worried about them. Plus, he doesn't really notice. I put a seed in there. Okay, let's go. Where's Aubrey? Dinner time, Aubrey. Aubrey. I don't know what to wear, Mama. So keen. It's, it's hungry too. Straight into the broccoli. It's a bit hot. Mommy, blow it. Yummy. You like the cashew sauce, don't you? You could see the bags under his eyes. He doesn't usually care when it's hot. He just the lack of chin development. He's a good boy. Doesn't have enough nutrients to develop the skeletal structure. Dipping your potatoes into your restier stuff. Nice. Another one ready to go. Oh, is it hot? Hot? No, he doesn't want to eat it. Because it doesn't have nutrients. Eat it again. Try again. This is sad. Good boy. 
Okay, so Aubrey's done. He kind of left a couple pieces of avocado and some smushed up whatever that is. No, <laughs> he, he spit so everything he's done, out. I tried to see if he wanted any more That's myself, what happened. but he's, yeah, he's pretty done. He's done pretty good. He ate that all himself as well. I think I just put in like a couple bites of avocado. So, yeah, he's pretty independent these days. There he is on his scooter. Here he comes. He's independent. He can now. You're controlling every single thing he's eating. Oh, you show, show everybody your scootering. He's so quick. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? There he goes. Yeah. All right, we're going to sign out for the night now. So before I sign out, I just want to say that Aubrey will have some breast milk now before bed and then he'll wake up probably once in the night as well. Um, he didn't snack really much with breastfeeding at all today, um, which he usually sometimes does, sometimes he doesn't. He kind of just makes up his own life half the time. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. So she thinks that lentils, potatoes, and quinoa are adequate for a child's dinner. Just carbohydrates, starch, grains, no semblance of nutrition, just energy. She made a cashew sour cream, high omega-6, inflammatory plant fats. Uh, there are actually children that die when they consume a lot of plant sterols throughout their early lives. Uh, it's a very rare disease. I just thought it was interesting to mention. When you consume only plant-based fats, the fats and the lipids in your body turn into these plant-based fats, particularly linoleic acid. The body isn't meant to have more than a small percentage of linoleic acid in it. When it's higher, uh, there's inflammatory things that occur in all metabolic systems that shouldn't be happening. Uh, she said vitamin C from lemons helps iron absorption. When you consume carbohydrates, vitamin C is used up. So the only way that vitamin C would help with iron absorption is if you were taking like a vitamin C powder with an iron supplement. As soon as you put carbohydrates in the meal, the vitamin C absorption is inhibited. There's a weird contrast here. In the video, she appears as a loving mother that cares for her child. In reality, she's depriving the child while being blissfully unaware of it. Uh, it's, it's really, I mean, we've seen this so many times. I've done probably dozens of videos on stuff like this now, and it, it needs to stop. It, it really needs to stop. Uh, I don't, I don't really know where to take this or, you know, these people disable the comments on their videos. They ignore what everyone else says and until it hits the mainstream media and this appeal to authority, you know, doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, media channels, everyone saying that plants and fruits and vegetables are so good for us needs to stop because this is the result of that directly. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, I have you know dozens of other videos you can watch that are similar to this, critiquing these vegan day of eatings, explaining where they're going wrong and why they're wrong. I've recently launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, my goal being to provide you guys with high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, so if you guys would like to help me get every single person high quality animal nutrition, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. I've also launched Frankie's Naturals, minimally processed, minimal ingredient hygiene and cosmetic products like deodorant, toothpaste, lip balm, moisturizing cream. Uh, go to frankiesnaturals.com to look like a Roman statue. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.